Jordan with Caster Headquarters and today we're going to talk about the solid polyurethane wheels. What applications they're used for and what industries they're used for and why. I have one in front of me right here and as you can see it's a one piece molded design. So this wheel is meant for a lot of clean room operations and also food processing equipment uh, in the food service industry and the reason being is it's one piece molded so it's extremely easy to keep clean and you can simply wipe this off if it gets dirty um, unlike a lot of other wheels that have a lot of gaps and different parts in there that's really hard to keep clean especially wheels with thread guards which I don't have one in front of me now another big benefit of a solid poly wheel versus a poly on poly wheel like this one is you don't have the possibility of the tread uh, debonding from the core of the wheel. So on this, you can see it's a two-piece. It's a polyurethane tread um, bonded to a polyolefin core uh, by an industrial glue. Every now and then, what happens when you run this too long, this tread can overheat and this industrial glue can get hot and then you can have bond separation where the tread will come off the core of the wheel. And that can be a pretty big liability. Uh, and to eliminate that, you just have a one piece solid polyurethane wheel. We commonly see the solid polyurethane wheel used in pharmaceutical labs, animal labs, anywhere where there's a clean room environment, uh, food service industries, like on food service processing equipment, where everything has to be completely sterile. Uh, these wheels are really meant for applications where they're going to be exposed to a lot of water, chemicals, steam, and wash down applications. So the wheels are really good for corrosive environments and they can be used around just about any chemical, oil, blood, any, anything you can think of, um, these wheels are going to hold up against. And they're gonna be a really reliable wheel and last a really long time. Typically we're gonna install these with a three quarter roller bearing and I'm gonna show you a demonstration of that. But these can also be combined with a lot of other bearings, such as stainless steel bearings, plastic bearings, really depending on your application and what you need. So if you need easier push-pull, you can go with a precision bearing. If you just need a easy rolling wheel and you're not worried about rust or wash down, you can go with a standard roller. Now if you still need a decent push-pull, then you can use a standard roller bearing or stainless steel roller bearing if it's going to be exposed to wash down applications. Um, and then if you don't really care about the ergonomics of it, you can go with a standard plastic Delrin bearing. I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how we install our bearings when you purchase these from us. We're going to start with two plastic retainer washers. Next, we're gonna grab a retainer sleeve for the roller bearing, a three quarter roller bearing, and a half inch spanner bushing. We're gonna get a rubber mallet ready, and we're gonna start off with the sleeve, which goes uh, inside of the bore first, and that's what the roller bearing will actually go inside of. Next, we're gonna hammer one of the retainer washers on one side of the wheel. Now, of course, we could press these in with our hands or we use a rubber mallet. I just like to use a rubber mallet. Next, we're gonna flip this wheel over and we're now going to install the three quarter roller bearing inside of the sleeve that we put in. And that just keeps that bearing um, with a really tight tolerance so it doesn't move around when you're rolling the wheel. And last, we're gonna grab that last plastic retainer washer and put that in the bore of the wheel. After we hammer this one in, it's now ready for the spanner bushing. And we're just going to insert this. And those retainer washers really hold that bushing in real tight and snug. Okay, now it's ready. You can either install this in a caster. If you order from us, we'll put this in a complete caster. Or you can use this as a replacement wheel uh, if you currently have casters and you just want to change the wheels. And again, this is just a demonstration of how we install our roller bearings inside of the wheel. We do have many other options, including 
a stainless roller bearing, which looks very similar to this, except it's stainless steel. Uh, we also have stainless steel precision bearings and plastic Delrin bearings, depending on your application. Now, as you see, this bearing does have grease. Uh, if it's for food service or a clean medical application, uh, you can request us to degrease the bearings prior to installing these. So these wheels are rated at negative 40 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. But I wouldn't recommend going below negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit if you happen to store these in a freezer of any type. As I have seen when these casters and wheels are overloaded with weight and they're in a freezer and they happen to roll out of the freezer and maybe hit or roll over a gap or a threshold on the floor, any kind of impact can cause these wheels to shatter when they're frozen or very cold. Now, when they're at normal operating temperatures, they're very impact resistant. You're gonna have no problems with that. And anything under 180 is going to be just fine. Now, once you go above 180 degrees, the wheels become very soft, and that's when they can also develop flat spots. One other thing I would look out for on these wheels is I wouldn't overload these with the maximum weight capacity and let them sit for longer than two weeks. If you're going to load these fully loaded to the maximum capacity of a set of four for your cart or equipment and have a static load on them and let them sit for long periods of time, they could develop a slight flat spot. So these wheels are really meant to be used uh, in an everyday work environment. Now, if you are going to have them sit uh, for long periods, I would probably deduct about 20% of the rated load capacity on all four of the casters, whatever quantity of the casters you're going to be using on your equipment or cart. And then you shouldn't have to worry about the uh, potential of the wheels flat spotting. So to summarize, these wheels are really good for wet and corrosive environments, any type of wash down applications, good for steam cleaning. The temperature range is negative 40 up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, I would not recommend going below negative 20 up to 180. And then the roller bearings are standard in the wheel when you order on our website, but you have the option to upgrade to a stainless roller, a precision, a stainless precision, or a Delrin, all depending on your application and what you're going to be using this for. Again, if it's gonna be wet or corrosive environments, always go with a stainless bearing or a Delrin plastic bearing. This wheel is a very hard durometer, so it has a hard tread. It's about a 60 to 65 shore D on the durometer scale, and it's slightly crowned. And so this is gonna be a very easy rolling wheel. The standard color in the industry for this solid poly wheel, this durometer for these applications, is this really nice blue color wheel. It's industry standard, and this is usually going to be uh, the same wheel no matter which caster company you buy from, when you see a solid poly, one piece mold design in a blue color. And this wheel is also non-marking, so you don't have to worry about this wheel leaving streaks of any kind on your floor. It's very floor protective, and this wheel comes in a lot of sizes. So you can get this wheel in just about any size caster that you're looking for. So if you're looking for a light duty, uh, three inch, four inch, five inch, by inch and a quarter, you can get that an inch and a quarter wide. We also have them an inch and a half wide and two inch wide for your more industrial applications. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please subscribe to our channel. Please like the video and comment below if you have any questions. If you need to reach out to us, shoot us an email at info at casterhq.com or you can give us a call 844-439-4335, which is also 844-HD-WILL. Thanks for watching.